How long would it take you to create the GDNT annotations on this part? Five minutes? Ten minutes? Maybe more? The new GDNT Advisor extension in Creo 4 makes it easier than ever. Let's walk through the steps with GDNT Advisor with the help of a timer to keep track of how we're doing. We start with primary datum A. The tool recommends a form control and also manages a label for us. Now we move on to the secondary datum B. And finally, the slot, which is tertiary datum C. Now that the datum reference frame has been defined, we can start controlling other features back to ABC. The tool automatically selects the geometric control that controls the location first of the other features. And of course, this can be refined with orientation and form controls. If you've created a pattern of features within Creo, then GDNT Advisor automatically recognizes that. However, it also has a tool to help you create patterns out of individually created features within Creo. Of course, with patterns, you can apply composite feature control frames. This bottom surface will look at the geometric control dropdown a little bit more closely. Notice that it makes a recommendation on what you should apply, gives you tooltips to explain why the others are not applicable or why they're not preferred. As you make a refinement, the recommendations change. So now we have controls for orientation and form. You can always check the status of your work by using the Show Hide Constraint State tool that highlights what you've defined. In this case, the outer diameter has not been selected, so we'll add a quick control for that. The rest of the features can be covered with the general profile note and the properties of the part. Several generic notes are included, but you can always add your own company or part-specific notes to the list. I've stopped the clock so that we can explore some of the messages in the advisor tree. These are error messages about our definition. If I want to understand anyone better, I can right-click and select More Help and be taken directly to context-sensitive help. I'll start the clock again as we fix these. We'll start by changing the tolerance value of the parallelism, editing the tolerance in the second tier of the composite feature control frame of the pattern, and then lastly, we will add a tolerance that's missing on the size of the outer diameter. In 2 minutes and 15 seconds, we're done with the part. We know what surfaces are being controlled specifically, and we know that it's right. GDNT Advisor increases productivity with a very efficient workflow that you just witnessed. It also reduces costs associated with having incorrect GDNT. It promotes consistency by always suggesting a control to use for a given feature that you select, and it also maximizes data reuse by making sure the GDNT is associated with the actual surfaces of the part. Many engineering tools and manufacturing applications can access this information directly so that you don't have to manually transfer it to each system.